Hey everybody, this is Christopher Gimmer from BootstrapBay.com and welcome to the first installment of our Bootstrap 3 tutorial. Today we're going to go over a quick introduction and show you guys how to install Bootstrap. For those who are unfamiliar, Bootstrap is a front-end framework used for creating websites and web applications. It contains HTML, CSS-based design templates, and optional JavaScript extensions. It was actually developed by two employees at Twitter, which is why you'll hear it called Twitter Bootstrap. One of the biggest features is the fact that it's responsive right out of the box. That along with the CSS design templates allows for a much faster development process. So let's look at some examples of what we're talking about here. Head on over to getbootstrap.com, which is the site I'm accessing at the moment, and click on getting started. Then in the sidebar, click on examples. So here are some examples of uh, templates that were built with uh, Bootstrap's main components. And there's, there's been no sort of um, adjustments made to the CSS files whatsoever. So if we click on Jumbotron, this gives you a good idea of kind of what you can create right out of the box. And if we start shrinking our browser, you'll see that the responsiveness comes into effect. And uh, the, the site automatically resized perfectly based on the screen resolution. So now that we've kind of seen some examples and kind of know what Bootstrap is, let's go ahead with the installation. So what we're going to do is go to getbootstrap.com and click on Download Bootstrap. You'll notice that there's three downloads here. Um, the, the source code and SAS uh, options are outside the scope of this tutorial. Uh, we're going to touch that touch on that in later videos, but for now let's just click on download bootstrap. So we're going to save this. I'm just going to save it on my desktop. Unzip it and let's open up this folder. So inside the uh, folder there's going to be a CSS folder, a fonts folder, and a JavaScript folder, JS. So if we take a look at the CSS, there's bootstrap theme and bootstrap. The bootstrap theme we're not going to worry about, it's um, some additional uh, styling which we're not going to need at the moment. So let's focus on the regular bootstrap CSS files. I'm going to open up the bootstrap.css file for now and you'll notice that it's kind of a readable CSS which is uh, what, you'll, what you'll be accustomed to. Whereas if I look at the bootstrap.min.css, you'll see that it's kind of very unreadable and kind of a bunch of mumble jumble. And the reason why they do that is for file size. So if you can compare the two, the .min.css is 100k and the uh, regular CSS is 121k. So on, uh, on a basic install, it's going to reference the uh, min.css file. And the best practices is if you're going to make any sort of modifications to the CSS, what you're going to want to do is create an additional CSS file. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go into our text editor. I'm using Coda for Mac. Uh, if you click on the link in our uh, description, it'll lead you back to a blog post and we're going to post some additional links to some other text editors. So I'm going to go File, New, HTML. So I got a blank HTML file here. And what we need to do is we need to go back to getbootstrap.com, click on getting started, and click on basic template. So this template is all you need to get started. So we're going to copy that, go back into our text editor, and paste it in. So just to kind of go over, oh sorry, I'm going to save this as index.html and we're going to save that in the same folder where we downloaded Bootstrap. So save that. And just to highlight a few things here, this line of code here is uh, really important for the responsiveness. Um, a lot of the mobile devices now have really high screen resolutions, almost the same as desktop. Um, so what it does is it tells the site if someone accesses on a mobile, display the mobile size. If someone accesses on a tablet, use a tablet size, regardless of what uh, screen resolution is on the phone. So again, that's really important for the responsiveness. Uh, here, 
uh, it's linking to the bootstrap.min.css um, style sheet, which uh, we had already kind of go over. And then down here, there's two scripts. This is importing jQuery, and this one is referencing the JavaScript file, which we saw in the download. So if we go back to our folder where we save the uh, HTML file and we open this up in our browser, there you go. Uh, so you'll notice it's not like a default text, it's styled properly. Uh, you have the Bootstrap 101 template and the title tag, and that's about it. So this was just a very brief introduction and a quick easy installation. Uh, in future videos we're going to build on this quite a bit. Uh, so make sure you subscribe to our channel uh, and, and check those out. In the next video, we're going to go over nav bars, uh, how to create a fixed and static nav bars with drop downs and all that good stuff. So we'll see you in the next video.